Welcome back. This is Andy Brown. I'm the Director of Education and Training at the Climber School of Real Estate in Orlando, Florida. And I am going to do number 93 real estate math problem on our new free practice exam, which you can find at www.climberrealestateschool.com. So let me read the problem for you. Mr. Buyer bought a house for $255,750. He assumed a $132,854 mortgage of 8% per year. The seller held a purchase money second mortgage for $74,200. What is the total tax to the state of Florida paid on his transaction? All right, so this is a state transfer tax problem. By the way, the answer is D, $2,663.85. Let me remind you that there are documentary stamps on the deed, there are documentary stamps on the note, and there is state intangible tax. Documentary stamps on the note are charged on the loan amounts for all mortgages and notes in a transaction, new and assumed. Intangible tax is on new only. So right off the bat, the seller is going to pay the documentary stamps on the deed for the sales price. That 8% per year that's garbage distracting information that the state's going to throw at you. So don't be fooled by it. On the assumed mortgage, there'll be doc stamps on the note only, no intangible tax. And on the new mortgage, the second mortgage for $74,200, there'll be doc stamps on the note and intangible tax. So let's look at this. Sales price is $255,750. To calculate the documentary stamps on the deed, you divide by 100 because each documentary stamp is worth $100 worth the value of the sales price. You get $2,557.5, but you cannot buy a part of a stamp. It'd be like buying a poacher stamp from the U.S. Post Office and ripping it in half if you didn't need as much. You know you can't do that. So you round up. That means that the seller is actually buying 2,558 doc stamps from the state of Florida. The doc stamps on the deed cost 70 cents each, so if you multiply those together, 2,558 times 70 cents, you get $1,790.60. That's the first one. If we do the same thing for our assumed loan amount of $132,854, divide by 100 because it's a documentary stamp, you get $1,328.54, but you can't buy a bar to the stamp, so you round up so that the, the, the buyer, because this is on the loan amount, would be buying 1,329 dock stamps. Each dock stamp on the note cost 35 cents, so 1,329 dock stamps times 35 cents each is $465.15. That's on the uh, the assumed mortgage and there's no intangible tax because that was already paid when it was created. On the new loan amount for $74,200, now you got both. It's a buyer cost, it's on the loan amount. Divide by 100 for the doc stamps on the note, you get 742 whole doc stamps. Multiply 742 stamps times 35 cents each and you get $259.70. Go back to the new loan amount of $74,200, multiply it by the intangible tax rate of 0 .002, it's a straight tax, there's no rounding, and you get $148.40. If you add all of these together, you'll get D, $2,663.85. That's how you calculate state transfer taxes, and good luck on the state exam. Email me or call the school if you have any questions at all.